Hi, and welcome to my classroom. My name is Christopher Youngren, and I'm a middle school ELA teacher in Tucson, Arizona. Now, last week, one of my students, we were in the middle of some lesson, I don't even remember what, uh, but out of the blue, this, this guy asks me, he says, hey, uh, Mr. Y, one of these days, will you tell us a back in my day story? And I'm like, uh, come again? And then another student said, oh, oh, you know, that's a story that old people tell to children about how things were back in the day. And I said, uh, just exactly how old do you folks think I am? And, and the, the second student said, I, I don't know, 70? And I said, you're all fired from seventh grade for crying out loud, 70, 70, really? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've got the hairline, but I mean, do you honestly think they have no concept? They have no concept of age. To them, everything above 20 is just old, right? Um, and so I, I was like, well, let me, let me tell you about how back in my day, we had to go to what was called a, a video store and uh, rent a, uh, what's called a VHS uh, cassette tape that we would play on a VHS recorder and sometimes you know they they didn't have the movie we wanted and uh, we would have to choose another movie can you believe it we didn't just have uh, everything streaming the way you children have it today yes yeah, sometimes we were disappointed and we didn't get everything we wanted every single second uh, we wanted it for crying out loud. That's how things were back in my day. Um, and, and, you know, I bring all this up because uh, the, the point is these kids uh, want to see us as more than just teachers. And especially now, especially now during this corona craziness and this quarantine this extended quarantine that we're all going through, you know, they want to see us as people, not just as teacher. And so uh, take the time, I encourage you, not necessarily to tell back in my day stories, but, but talk to them about your own lives, maybe your hobbies, your interests. You need to be very, very careful, obviously. You need to make sure that you're keeping it appropriate and that you're keeping a respectable boundaries and that you're not giving them too much information about uh, anything that you shouldn't be. But they really want to know you as a person and they really want to hear about your life maybe your pets maybe your children maybe what you did on vacation uh, and it really makes them feel closer to you and it really you know as I've gone on before about it it really makes them feel like a part of that classroom community uh, and not just a, a collection of distanced individuals so take the time to share you know, as much of your life as you're comfortable with. Maybe talk about things that, that you did when you were their age. Maybe movies that were popular. Maybe how school was different. It doesn't even have to be, like I say, a back-in-my-day story. But just things about yourself that let them see you as a person and not just a teacher who's there to make them do work. And, and, and I guarantee you, if you take just a few moments um, to kind of establish that connection and to provide them with a little bit more about you. Um, they're, they're, it's really going to make the difference and you're going to see a much stronger foundation laid and, and have much better communication with your students overall because they see you as a like legitimate person uh, with a life um, uh, who actually did have a back in my day uh, and a few stories along those lines to tell. So uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you like what I have to say, check out this video. This one is a lot of fun and I think you're really going to like it. Um, and if, if you enjoy my channel, then please, hey, subscribe, why don't you? And I'll keep them coming. Hey, stay safe out there, be well, take care of yourselves, and take care of someone else. We'll talk to you soon. Or maybe I'll just tell you about uh, back in my day. <laughs> yes, indeed.